DCM, or dilated cardiomyopathy. Do you hear those regular noises? That is Idle's heartbeat. There, you see? But let's look a little more closely at how it works. Normal blood circulation involves several stages. The blood, our cars in this case, arrives at the heart and builds up in the atrium, a sort of antechamber sealed off by a door or valve. When these valves open, the blood flows into the ventricle, another cavity, where it will be put under pressure to be sent through the circulation. The doors are perfectly tight and the blood can only move in one direction. This dense, very orderly traffic transports oxygen, water, and nutrients. The number of vehicles in circulation depends on the body's needs. And it works like that at each heartbeat. In the case of DCM, or dilated cardiomyopathy, the ventricle gradually dilates and loses power. The muscle becomes finer and finer. The ventricle contracts less intensely and the blood is pumped out with less force. With time, some of the cars don't have time to get out and circulate, and others remain blocked in the atrium, waiting their turn. Poor Idle suffers the consequences, as his heart beats more and more quickly. There are no longer enough cars, so not enough supply of oxygen and nutrients for the whole of the body and its organs. It just runs out of gas. Under tension, the valve between the atrium and the ventricle ends up failing, leaving a nice wide opening for the disoriented vehicles to pass through. This causes a traffic jam in the atrium. There are now fewer cars going in the right direction and we talk about lower blood flow. The traffic jam that forms upstream makes circulation difficult. To ease the traffic, the trucks are taken to one side to empty their water tanks into the lungs. This is what is referred to as pulmonary edema, which causes a cough that is not necessarily very loud, but is repetitive. This will then be followed by other symptoms, 